on one hand saying that Allah is self-sufficient, which you defined and it's on camera, as not being dependent on others, not being contingent on others, and then the attribute of Allah's mercy, which you said, and it's on camera, is always a transaction. Does Allah need to be circumcised by other people? That Does Allah, in order to save other people, need to be killed? Because without these people, Jesus cannot be killed. And if Jesus wasn't be, cannot be killed, then he can, you cannot be saved. Like, brother, since you're determined to get into this conversation, I'll ask you the question that Hashim couldn't answer. Oh, well, let's make it into here's this discussion. Me, here's me. No, no, no. Get, uh, uh, here's right. my question. You know, he actually uh, says uh, uh, mercy uh, uh, is not uh, an attribute uh, uh, of bro, God. Bro, bro, this is why I don't bro, really understand bro, you. Bro, let's bro, make bro, bro, bro. If you, the only way that you could win this argument is if you can give me an example of mercy that is not a transaction. If you can, you win the argument, logically. But if you can't, I win the argument, logically. Mercy is not the same. What is Tawheed? Let's start with that. No, no, no. Don't answer a question with a question, Hashim. No, but you need to understand we the do this, we do, You do this. You said, the you said they are the same. All right. no, maybe so, just explain so, the argument because okay. yeah. the way you've asked it is a bit. So, in terms of Allah's attributes, one of the attributes of Allah is that He is self sufficient. Yes. And in terms of some of the attributes of Allah, they clearly fit within self sufficiency. But there are other attributes of Allah that are dependent on others, they're contingent on others. Give an example. Mercy. Mercy is dependent on what? It's dependent on others, so you cannot be merciful. Oh, you mean it's, it depends on the situation? So Allah is not merciful with everyone. Those who deserve His mercy, is merciful with them. But for example, the shaitan, for example. Yeah. The shaitan is called the cursed one. Yeah. When we start the Quran, read the Quran, we say, the shaitan regime. We say he is someone who is cursed by Allah. Okay. But still, but still, even, even within that curse itself, Allah has given him the, the ability to live for a very long time. Yeah? Yeah. Like almost from the time he fell yeah. until the day of judgment. Yeah. And because of the mercy of Allah, he allowed him that. He could have just said, no, you don't get any say in this, yeah. and you're going to straight to hellfire. So you see, there are certain things where Allah's mercy does come in, even though they might be disobedient as disobedient as a sentence. But anyone who says that Tawheed and mercy are the same thing, they are not. Tawheed I am saying Well, you did. You said they're the same thing. Is it an attribute of Allah? Explain the no, attribute of Allah. Attributes are different in Allah. So you have the mercy as an attribute. You have, uh, uh, you have, for example, his uh, his oneness, his uh, almightiness, his uh, his uh, just, his loving. These are the characteristics or attributes of Allah. And there are like 99 names and 99 attributes. So of can you can you give me another example of mercy? Of mercy, yeah, from a mercy. human perspe perspective or from a the divine, divine mercy. Give me oh, an example mercy. of the divine. Well, Allah on the day of judgment will enter you into paradise yep. based on the mercy of Allah, okay. not the good deeds you have done. That's fine. Okay, but, but the deeds will get you into different stages of Jannah. Okay, can, of I, can you now give me another example of mercy? I, I, I honestly, Hashim. Are you stop somewhere? Hashim, yeah, yes, we are. This will be the last one. Give okay. me another example of mercy um, in Islam. Yeah, for example, another example is. There are many people who reject God completely, but He still allows them to go about their daily life. Some of them, you can see them, they are living quite happily in, the, in this world, but they completely reject God. Yeah. That's the mercy of Allah. Okay. Now, did you notice in all of the examples, it was dependent on others? Why you have the Jesus Christ? Now, now I'm going to... Can I respond to that? No, no, no. I want to no, you, made a, you made a statement. I need to respond to that. Okay, I'll let you respond. When you say answer. dependent, yeah. obviously I told you very clearly from the start, it depends on the circumstance. So the circumstance is, the, is what defines Allah to, to basically exercise His mercy or not. 
Of course, it's dependent on the circumstances. And I'll, I said that from the very beginning. Okay, that's fine. I'm not arguing with that. I totally agree with you. Is that I the topic? I totally agree with you. No, no, what is the topic? Basically, the argument is, is how can Allah be self-sufficient if mercy as an attribute is basically contingent on others? You can't be merciful unless you're acting. What I was basically trying to say is that mercy is a disposition. You know, for example, like glass, it has the disposition to be brittle, but it doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to basically crack or it doesn't have to be broken in order to be uh, brittle. Do you understand? Yeah. I, see what, I see what you mean. That's so basically, what, when you say contingent, you mean like obviously when Allah is exercising His mercy, He has to exercise it upon someone. Yeah. So the mercy has to be show, shown to someone. Is that what you mean by contingent? Yes. Yeah, so, so therefore, yeah. others are not self-sufficient. What do you so mean not self-sufficient? Because self-sufficiency means that you are not dependent on others. No, and no, in, no, no. That's completely no, no. Completely Ashen, wrong. Ashen, uh, let me speak. When you say others, Ashen, let me speak. Okay, go on. Ashen, let me speak. Go on. So, the, the the fact is, I asked you quite purposefully three times to give me examples of mercy. And in every example you gave, there was a transaction between two parties. Allah, who was the one that giving mercy to others. Shaitan, the people on Judgment Day, and then you gave a third one, and I apologize, I can't remember what it was. To cut to the quick, so that we don't spend lots of time arguing around the definition of mercy. Can you give me an example of mercy that is not transactional? Okay, when you say transaction, you mean the mercy has to be shown to someone. You see, every everything, like for example, justice, another example. Do you think God needs to exercise his justice upon someone or does he not need to? Okay, you're answering a question with a question. No, it's not a question. It's, it's to show you the, the same concept. You, no, 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 Bob, I'll tell you why not. Hashim, the on. concept. You're better than this man. The concept. Yeah, yes, I am. That's why I want to explain to you. So, justice. Answer the question. Justice is something Allah has to show to someone. So if, if a Christian tells me that in order for justice, for God to exercise his justice, he doesn't need anybody else on wh on whom oh, to no, show no, justice no. upon, then yes, you'll have a point. But can you give me both an example of justice in which God will not use it as a transaction upon someone and only himself without any other entity out there? Okay. Go on. So give an example. Hashim, you didn't actually answer the question. I did. So the question that I asked you, and I will answer your question because like yourself, I won't run away from questions, but I want I you not to away. answer I you an answer. Question. The question that I asked you was to give me an example of mercy that is not transactional in nature. Now you have simply, rather than answer my question, simply tried to reverse my question. And the reason why I, I, I don't follow your logic is because our understanding of how the attributes relate to the divine is different from yours. We believe that the divine attributes are distinguishable because of our human perception. They are distinguishable, but they are actually the same thing. They are an effluence, an energy of the divine substance. So the philosophy that underpins my understanding of attributes like omnipotence, omnipresence, mercy, justice, love, is not like yours. These are energies that we experience of the divine essence and they are something that we ascribe terms to using our own wit and reason. The question that I asked you, and I ask you again, is to give me an example of mercy that does not involve a transaction between the party that is giving the mercy and the party that is receiving the mercy. Actually, it's not very different to what you just said. You said we experience it. So God has, God shows love. God shows justice. Yes. Who experiences? You experience. Yes. So absolutely. there is a transaction between the two. I agree totally. Well, it's okay. we're talking the same thing. So, so it's not then a case that the attribute of Allah's mercy is self-sufficiently within Allah, but it is contingent upon others. The attributes which you just mentioned, love, justice, and so on, is contingent upon your experience and you're feeling it or whatever it is, yes, then that should also be an issue. If you think mercy is an issue, that it is not something that is only dependent on God without anybody else as a factor within it, 
then what is the problem? You are, I gave you example of justice. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. So when, when, for example, when you have the Trinity, yeah. do you really think they are they are doing justice to each other, or they are doing justice to somebody else outside the Godhead? Okay. So again, Hashim has not answered the question. By the way, the question. is this something okay. that topic? Because they, 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 they're going in circles. One thing, one thing I don't understand is. Yeah. Don't you need to have the disposition to be merciful in order to basically uh, impose mercy upon someone in the first I think mercy comes from somewhere else. I think the mercy is an expression of God's love. That is the Christian understanding. So wait, wait, wait. You're saying mercy comes from love. On, Hashim. No, no, wait. You said mercy Hashim. comes from love. Hashim. Can you substantiate Hashim. that from the Bible? Hashim. You, you have said. Stop interrupting. Hashim. Go on. You have said. In the examples that you have given, you, every example that you have given is based upon a transaction. Okay? Now, I have asked you twice before, now I'm going to ask you a third time. Can you give me an example? I think you have already answered those questions. Can, no, hold on. I've already answered. I, I, There's no need to go in circles. Can you give I've given you the example. answer and I'll give you the same answer as I gave. Can you give me an This is the question and people can decide for themselves whether you're answering or not. Can you give me an example of mercy that doesn't involve a transaction between two parties? There has to be a transaction. Because, because we believe in God who is independent of his creation. Thank you. The creation is the one to whom he shows mercy to. Unless you're telling me God shows mercy to himself. Okay. Is that what you're trying to imply here? Yeah. Bob, are, is that what you're implying? Are you saying God in Christianity no, I'm not shows saying. mercy to himself? No, I'm so not whom does that. he show mercy to? I am not saying that. Whom is, does he show mercy to in Christianity? The mercy of God is not an attribute. No, I didn't ask you as an attribute. I'm asking it you. It is an effluence, it is an energy forget, of God. Forget no. what do you think mercy is. Does the Christian God, does God in Christianity show mercy to himself? Or can he show mercy to others as well? Okay, I will answer this question and then I'm going to make a point. So, in answer to the question, no, God does not show mercy to himself. Good, so there's a transaction. Okay. So, but we are not, I am not stood here saying that mercy is one of the attributes of God, you are. But that's not the thing. And then you're also saying in the next breath that God is self-sufficient because that is also one of the attributes of Allah. So I'm going to ask you, Hashim, I've answered your question directly. Yeah, go on. And now I'm going to ask you directly. What is the mercy is not a character attribute of God. It is an influence and energy of the love of God. That, that means it's an attribute of God. No, it is an effluence and an energy of God. But is it within the essence of God? Can I? No, I'm going to ask you a question. You're now. just you're just using terminology which you know going, means you are the expert of that. It's semantics. You are the expert of that. Hashim. Really? Why? You're the expert. You're of using semantics. semantics. Word games, games is your trade. Can you show me from the Sunday trade? Can you show me from the Bible that mercy Hashim, means it's coming from love? I am going Going to ask you a question. Go on. And the question is, what is the definition of self-sufficiency? Means not dependent on others. Thank you. And if Allah is merciful yeah. and you have said there needs to be a transaction, that means that the attribute of Allah's mercy is contingent upon others. These are your words. What? You said it needed to be transactional, which means that Allah is not self-sufficient because if Allah was self-sufficient, his other attribute of mercy would not depend on others for the transaction. Bob, Bob can you define right. attributes? Can you define attribute to me? I have. When you say attribute, can you say attribute yes. of God? Does it mean the characteristics that God possesses? No, an attribute is the experience that we have not you i'm talking about god the attribute of god god do you want me to answer the question yeah but i'm asking i'm asking you not from your perspective as a human being i'm, going I'm asking to i'm asking from, from the, god okay I'm i'm answering you. from what the church father said so not from the bible we christians mm -hmm. I, I we christians believe that the church interprets the scripture which which christians the catholics the protestants the Jehovah's Witnesses. Luther used the Church Fathers, Calvin used the Church Fathers, and Zwingli used the Church Fathers, and they're all Protestants. And, and they, they are the founding of the Reformation. But, but Luther doesn't believe in the Trinity, does he? Like the Luther way you believe, does in. believe in it. So you're saying you've been, when Luther said there are only two powers in the heaven, the Father and the Son. I notice you're trying to get off the inherent contradiction in the <laughs> no, no, attributes. No, 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 I'm telling you to mercy. use the Bible, and you're saying I'm using the Church. I have 
done this every time we've debated Hashim, and you know I have. And you have not yeah, used have, the Bible. I you I always have, go to the church. I have used the Bible in our first debate of the Trinity, so that and is. You haven't mistake. shown any words from the Bible. That All you mistake. said is from Genesis uh, I'm to sorry, Revelation. Hashim, but you have not shown words from the Bible. Every single person. You know that. View that debate on Soko Films, and they will see me quote Deuteronomy 6 4, Exodus 20, John 17, Acts 5. Second Peter one. So please and, and you stop. Can, you can all go and see that none of those verses actually mention the Trinity concept. You are lowering you know yourself. I don't need to. But you know where. Okay, so what he's basically trying to say is that God's love is just an action. So when he's not doing the action, he's not loving. So that would basically mean that if I'm doing an action that's loving. Whilst God isn't doing an action that's, that's loving, that means that I'm more loving than God, if you follow your reason. No, not at all. The, the, the God is love. This is a clear writ of scripture. There you go, I'll use the Bible for you. Finally. So, right? <laughs> About time. Yes, thank you. So, so God is love. And the mercy is an expression of God's love. The mercy that God gives us in Christ is an expression that God has in love for the world. Is that in the Bible? God so loved the world that he gave his only son that those who believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. I use the Bible again for you. There's no mercy in that. Now, what, what I am you saying. You said love emanates from love. Sorry, mercy emanates from love. Is what that in the Bible? I am saying. Obviously, you cannot give a verse for that, Bob. What I am saying, Hashim, yeah. is that the inherent contradiction on one hand, saying that Allah is self-sufficient, which you defined, and it's on camera, as not being dependent on others, not being contingent on others, and then the attribute of Allah's mercy, which you said, and it's on camera, is always a transaction, means that the the attribute of Allah's because mercy. He saying, Wait a minute. Mercy is Hashim stepped into this conversation to help the brother. Bob, you and now the shout. brother's helping Hashim. Bob, Bob, Bob calm down. You don't don't shout. Shout. I know you love your loud voice. Yeah. Yeah. You need to calm down. No, 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 yeah, have some water so you can calm down. Help Hashim. Brother, help Hashim. By the way, brother, help Hashim. Look, he's struggling. Or I helping you. I have no issue like the way he's there. This brother. Are, are you happy to, for us to continue can, in this can way? I jump in just with one? Yeah, yeah, sure. Brother, okay. brother, brother, brother. Don't let other people barge into Don't tell him what to do. No, I, I'm giving... I'm Bob, go and tell him what to do. Just, you I, I know you're used to telling people, but these are Muslims. They're not Christians. You decide what you want. These are not Christians that tell them what to do. You didn't need to, Bob. You didn't need to interrupt. I asked him already politely. Brother, what do you want to do? Don't let these people pressure you. Okay, look, for example, he is an adjective. He is loving. Are you saying for him to have the but there needs to be something else. Okay, for us, this is what I wanted to ask. Well, the love of because God is for a Because, for example, I could be loving. Let's say everyone just dies tomorrow. Does that take away or nullify my adjective? You're saying that verb, it has to make a distinction. A verb is different from the adjective. Yes. I can be loving, but let's say there's no one else to love no more. Does it, how does that contradict this? So this is my question. So, so the, 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 the reality is that love is a verb. It is an action. L loving is an adjective. Love is a verb. Exactly. So we're talking about a person being loving. So a you can describe being God I can be as loving. being loving. I can be loving, but, but it doesn't mean that I need to love, exactly. right? But mercy. I can be friendly. Okay, La, brother, me. since you're determined to get into this conversation, I'll ask you the question that Hashim couldn't answer. Oh, well, let's make it into here's this discussion. Me, it here's no, 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 no. Uh, uh, here's my question. You know, he actually uh, said uh, uh, mercy uh, uh, is not uh, an attribute uh, uh, of love. Bro, bro, this is why I don't bro, really understand bro, you. Bro, let's bro, make it bro, bro, love is an attribute bro, of mercy. Bro, 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 If your interaction is childish, bro, stop it, bro, 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 I don't go to a low level, bro. This is my question. If you want to have this is my question. Bro, let's try not to be questioned. This is my question. So, thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, you have asked the question. He doesn't want a discussion. He doesn't want a question. I prefer talking to you. At least you can go back to cannot answer a question with the question. Is this true? I answered your question. You stand there. You lay down the he cannot answer the question. The question that I asked the brother that he did not want to answer was the question like this. Bro, are you listening? Bro, 
Are you listening? The only two people I can is your soccer and both. Give me an example of mercy. There is no transaction. That's the question. Are you going to answer the question? That's my question. How could you answer a question before I asked? Why How could you answer a question before I asked? So, here's my question. My question is this. This, this is the question. Can you give me an example of mercy that is not a transaction? So, that is my question. What is the question I ask you? What is the question I ask you? The question I ask you. Did everyone hear the question And now he's getting upset. Now he's getting upset. I asked the question. And now he wants to answer. That's not his condition. And if someone asks him the question, they should not ask him the question. It was his condition. He said this to hash him. And now he wanted to start shouting. If you want to shout, we can shout. I don't want to talk to him. We're going to win in this conversation. Ask him to leave. Guys, I'll talk with you. I'll talk with you. I don't want to talk to him. Okay. Stop. Stop shouting. Answer the question. He doesn't want to speak to me. Yeah, but the point at which you interjected was the answer was Tawheed. Yeah, so he said... So that that to you was the point. To me, what has Tawheed got to do with the mercy of Allah? Okay. Are you talking about because Allah shows his mercy to someone else? It is the internal contradiction. Let me finish what I'm saying. Yeah, of course. You're saying that because Allah shows his mercy to other people, yes? That means he's not independent, seriously? Is that what you're trying to say? That, that, what I am saying, I'll be very clear. Go on. According to you, what you said, and it's on camera, yeah. is that the definition of self-sufficiency is not to be dependent on others. And you said, not me, your words, Hashim, is that mercy is always transactional between at least two parties, the mercy giver and the one receiving. Okay. So. If Allah is the all-merciful one, yeah, I know you're going to help Hashim, but if Allah is the all-merciful one and Allah is self-sufficient, you have an internal contradiction between these two attributes. No, I'll tell you why not. Should I tell you why not? Because when you say self-sufficient, in what is Allah self-sufficient? Not, not in expressing his, his characteristics, i.e. his love, his justice, his mercy. Not that. When you say self-sufficient, it means does Allah need to eat food like Jesus ate food? Does Allah need to be circumcised by other people? Does Allah, in order to save other people, need to be killed? Because without these people, Jesus cannot be killed. And if Jesus wasn't be, cannot be killed, then he can, you cannot be saved. Are you saying Jesus, God, the Godhead, the second person of the Trinity, is dependent on the Romans to kill him for you to be saved? Okay. <laughs> So, I will, I, will, I will answer this question directly and then I will make a point. We believe that when the second person of the Trinity enters into the fullness of humanity, yes, he becomes contingent in his humanity on the humans around him, on his mother, on his adopted father Joseph, on the people that educated him in the synagogue and the temple, on his brothers and his sisters, on the people that he spoke to. This is consistent to our belief because, as you well know, we believe that the Logos took on the fullness of humanity. Now, allow me to make a further point. I am not using my definition of self-sufficiency. This is the Islamic definition of self-sufficiency. I didn't give you a definition. One second. And it is also that you are, you are now changing your definition of self-sufficiency. No, but did I say that was an Islamic can definition? I, can I finish my point? It is an English Did I interrupt you, Hashim? Definition. Hashim, did I interrupt you, Hashim? No, but you're making no, an accusation. I'm talking. I just want to you say interrupt English. Hashim, not me. Okay, interrupt Hashim, Hashim, not me. Interrupt Hashim, not me. Can I speak, no, 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 can I speak no, no, without no, being interrupted, please? Can I speak without being interrupted, please? Okay, go on, carry on. I'll cut you after you finish. Thank you. Okay. So. 
Hashim, you are the one that said self-sufficiency is not being dependent on others. I didn't I did say that. Words, I didn't thank say you. I never said that with Islamic definition. And now you are trying to qualify your understanding. You're giving a qualified definition of self-sufficiency. So, I will accept your qualified definition of self-sufficiency if you can show it to me in the Quran or in a hadith. Okay, first and foremost, did I say it was an Islamic definition of self-sufficiency? I did not say that. You made that point, you put words in my mouth saying that Hashim gave an Islamic definition of self-sufficiency. These were your terms, not mine. So when I gave you the definition, I gave from a generic definition. What does self-sufficient mean? It means to be not dependent on anyone else. Thank you. That was a generic definition. Oh, I do not deny that. So for you to make an argument that I gave a the definition, is that is inaccurate. Okay. Now going back to the response you Bring gave too much to about the guys, 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 guys. Can we all come down? Bring your camera. All right. When you said that, yes, Jesus was dependent on his father, on his cousins, on his mother, X, Y, and Z, yep. do you realize this Jesus in his, human, in his humanity was also fully God? And remember, wait, wait, I know you made this mistake many times before and I've corrected you, but you somehow seem to forget it. This, this human nature and the divine nature of Jesus is linked to one person. Agreed. Do you agree? Yes. So was this second person of, of uh, the Trinity dependent while he was on earth, i.e. on saving you, for saving you and the other Christian, he was dependent on being killed by the Romans. Because if the Romans or if humans did not kill him, then you wouldn't be saved. Hence he was dependent, the second person of the Trinity, who is fully God, and fully man, according to you, yep. this one person yep. was dependent. Do you agree? Yep. Right, so Good. I will so answer the question yeah, and on. then I will make a point. Well, that was a point. Yeah. I am going to. I am going to. I just wanted to add, you know. So, like, no, no, interrupt uh, Hashim, not me. Interrupt <laughs> Hashim, not me. I was interrupting. Be quiet. You, did it. you waited now. until he because finished no and I was going to speak. Me and Hashim. No, no, don't. Why can I never speak without being interrupted? He's not a Muslim, but he's got a Muslim prayer bead around his neck. And earlier, and earlier, and earlier. He's a Muslim. Why can I never speak without the Dawah team interrupting me? Notice, he was not speaking when Hashim was speaking. Notice, he was not speaking when Hashim was speaking. But the moment I begin to speak, suddenly all of them find their voice. Isn't it funny? He's not a Muslim, he's confirmed. Isn't it funny? He's not a Muslim, he's not a Muslim. Isn't it funny? So, now, now, so, now, in answer to your question. The second person of the Trinity. I haven't forgot your question. I haven't forgot your question. Was it dependent? I will simply repeat the answer that I gave to you before, which is, that when the divine Logos took on the fullness of humanity, in his humanity, he then becomes dependent on other human beings. This is what we believe. I believe I've answered your question very directly and very straightforwardly. Can you confirm now, it was the second person no, of the Trinity which no, was dependent? Hashim, Can you use those words? Hashim, Are you reluctant to I use have them? I answered your question. No, you haven't. Unless you use uh, the second let person the people the decide whether I answer yes. your question. If so, anybody here heard so I will say answer the second your person of the Trinity so, is dependent, Hashim, yes, you have notice question. Hashim is now interrupted. Oh, so, so you're notice guys, guys, that I was quiet when Hashim was speaking, but the morality of Islam demonstrated by this brother, demonstrated by this brother, has no manners, no manners at all. Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Your, your passive racism is your own brother. So, now, the, the point that I would, I would say to you is that the second person of the Trinity is, is I, I have, I have, No, don't interrupt. Oh, you don't want to use that? Ah, shame. Don't interrupt Hashim. Stop complaining. Don't interrupt Hashim. Stop complaining, Bob. Don't interrupt Hashim. You know, just because you name after cartoon doesn't mean oh, that. Oh, just doesn't mean that you Guys, do you want to hear me speak on my Hashim have a monologue? Please speak. Right. Please. Let me speak. Calm down. 
You're going to old Reddy's been here all day, bro. I've been here all day, bro. I've been here, too. I'm sure. Go on, go on. Right, so, the fact of the matter is, fair enough, you're saying that your earlier general definition of self-sufficiency is not Islamic. It's not Islamic definition. Okay, fine. Hashem, stop interrupting. I'm just confirming what Hashem! What's wrong with you? Stop Are you okay? Stop interrupting, bro. Oh, you're like a woman, man. Oh, my gosh. Stop it. Tell me when you're finished. Okay. The second person of the Trinity was defended. Carry on. Here we go. That's the question. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. That's the bit he didn't want to respond to. Carry on. Carry on. Are you sure you're finished? I have, Bob. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, Hashim, let us accept that you, uh, your earlier definition of self-sufficiency as not being dependent on others is not the Islamic definition. What I would like to see, therefore, is the Islamic def definition using Islamic sources, please. If I, I can bring them next time. I don't have them on my Next own. time. Okay. Why not? Right. Like the way you said many times, I can look it up. I, I, I really it. haven't, but... Okay. Really? You mean, you mean like yeah. Melchizedek? So, <laughs> yeah. so, you remember that? So, my, my point to you is, yeah, given that we do not have another definition to use... We can use this, no problem. Right, no so let us use Carry the general on. definition yeah, of not being... Oh yeah, the poor guy's inside line. Can, <laughs> can, I, can I, can I, can I, this is unfortunately what happened yeah, when you let Hashim in. Uh, so, right. Bob is complaining again. Yeah. He doesn't so, like me. Can I, yeah, so I'll finish. Go on. So Hashim, the fact is, using your first definition, yeah. since we you're not able to produce another. The self-sufficiency self means not dependent on others. characteristic that you're showing mercy to someone who deserves mercy. But does that mean you stop being self-sufficient? Does it mean now you become dependent on that guy to whom you showed mercy to? Absolutely not. I think your understanding of mercy and the character or the attribute of God are somehow flawed. You said mercy is not an attribute of your God. Is that right? You could use the I don't want to misquote you. You said mercy is not an attribute of your God. No, it's an action. Okay, which means not an attribute of his God. Yeah, it's an action. So it's, a, it's an action which he expresses. You see, when somebody expresses an action, for example, an action of love, yes? What about love? Do you think love is an attribute of God? Yes. Good. Does he express love to, with someone? Yes. So what's the difference between expressing mercy, which you said emanates from love, yep. and expressing love? What's the difference in God's expressing mercy and God's expressing love? Is there any difference? Yes. If they both emanate from the same love. Okay. God. So, bearing in mind yeah. that what we're talking about is the question of self-sufficiency, Allah, what, what you're establishing through your argument is that there are two criteria of attributes of Allah. Those that are contingent and those that are not contingent. Because following the line of the logic that you have made from the beginning, you have basically essentially said that the mercy of Allah is contingent on others because it's transactional in nature. But, but the self-sufficiency of Allah is not uh, contradicted by this because Allah is self-sufficient. So you have created this distinction between the mercy and the self-sufficiency, one of which is so obvious, self-sufficiency, and the other one is transactional and dependent. So you've created two tier of attributes. The attributes that are self-sufficient, like Allah's power, that would be a self-sufficient attribute, and the attributes that are transactional in nature, such as mercy. That is two levels of attributes, and I don't think that you can justify that anywhere in Islamic sources, and I would I like you to do so if you can. Now, you can asked... I make, can a, I make a correction there? You, you, asked a, no, you asked a question about the love of God, and, and you said, how is it the same or, or different? Yeah, no, no, I... I you, you did? You did? did? Yeah, I did. Can I reply to that question? Yeah, go on, go on. Can I reply to that question? Yeah. So, how is it different? God is love, I said. So who was God showing love to before the creation of the world, before the creation? Well, the love was shared between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it was an eternal continuum of the love between the three persons. Is that in the Bible? Yes. Show me where it says God loved the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so, Try to. God, you made a statement. I will. You need to back it up. Yes, I will. God. Okay. However, first... First, However, before you simply jump to another question, deal with the question that Actually, I asked you. Hold on, hold on. It's depending was, on that. Come on. Which yeah. is? It's not another question. It's I, depending on what you just said. I have said. not run, Hashim. In this debate, I have not run from any of your questions, nor do I intend Actually, to. Actually, you have. 
You have to know. Shall I tell you where you run? Shall I tell you where you run? Please do not. Exactly. He didn't want to say that word. Who is the divine logos? Sorry. Who is the divine logos? Who is the divine logos? Who is the divine logos? According to chapter John one, chapter one. Who is the divine logos? The word became flesh. And? And the word was God. Is that what you're saying? No, you've mixed up two verses there. That you've mixed okay. up 17 uh, and 1. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't say mixed up. I yeah, said, you did. Yeah, I you didn't did. Say, I didn't say they were. John 1, verse 1 is in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Yes. John 1, verse 2 is in the, the, the Word was God. John 17 or 18 says that the Word became flesh, and we beheld his glory, the only the glory of the only begotten Son of the Father. And then in that same passage, it says Jesus Christ. So in John chapter 1, verse 1, the Logos, which is what the word is translated from the Greek, is uh, identified as Jesus Christ. But so is the my Logos argument, you're, you're making the big do and hoo-ha about no, it. didn't not. use the term second person Why of the didn't Trinity. You? Why didn't you? Why were you reluctant? Is a red herring. No, it's not. Because the, if there was the, no divine, issue, you would have logos, used it. the divine Logos is the second Bob, person If there was the no issue, you would have used it. Can you use it now? Instead of the you want divine logos, okay. can you I, say I'm not this no, no, it's not about red hair. The second person of the Trinity, if the second person of the Trinity is Jesus Christ and is the logos, the question is very simple: Was the second person of Trinity dependent on anyone? So, the question that I asked you that you have done very well to try and avoid. No, time, don't tell me you didn't run any question. He did run. I'm going question. to answer his question. question. Are you? Okay, go yes, on. Yes, but I want you to deal with my question and not. You see what I mean? Yeah. Running from my question. So. The question that I asked you was that you have created two criteria of attribute. Justify this distinction between those attributes that are transactional and those attributes that aren't from Islamic sources. Okay, first and foremost, when I talked about mercy and I talked about love, yes, to me the mercy and the love are the attributes of God. You're saying mercy is not an attribute of God. It's an action. Is an action which emanates from another attribute called love. No, you've just you've restated that it's an attribute when I clearly said that it wasn't. No, I said love. You're you said theory. it is attribute dependent on another attribute. Yeah. So you're comparing mercy to no, love as if they're both attributes. I didn't say attribute. And I said clearly they are not. I didn't say attribute Wait, dependent. I said I'm mercy. I'm gonna have to go soon. So can we just quickly? Yeah. Can you just quickly. Why don't you discuss so, the, the, the topic on, you were discussing? You. So what was the question though? It sounded about self-sufficient and, and mercy. So the definition of self-sufficiency is not to be dependent on others. That's the very definition of self-sufficiency. Mercy, as we have three examples from Hashim, were all transactional. And as Hashim said himself, mercy is always transactional. There needs to be a transaction. So my question to you is, my question to you is, yeah, is give me an example of mercy that is not transactional or accept that there is an inherent contradiction within Islamic logic about the attributes Absolutely of Allah. Absolutely not. Okay, the yeah, simple that. answer is there isn't one. Exactly. Okay, Thank you. Thank because you. you're basically applying the Christian definition yeah. to the Islamic one. Yeah. But you see, what we That's believe is that mercy is when you have the disposition to be uh, to basically be merciful. Exactly. So if God, say if Allah didn't have the disposition to be merciful, he wouldn't be able to be merciful in the first place. For example, you're saying that uh, basically love or mercy is a verb, but don't you need to have the disposition? For example, and this is just like, it's a bit extreme, but say I punch someone, don't I have to have the disposition to punch them in order to carry out the verb in the first place? That's what I don't understand. Okay, uh, allow me to reply. I, I have said it repeatedly in this discussion, that the mercy of God is a action stemming from his attribute as love and I used verses to back that so the, the the point that I am making you cannot on the one hand say someone is self-sufficient and then as you have already admitted said that mercy he has already admitted that mercy is always transactional and you have already said that there isn't an example of mercy that is not transactional yeah. those two things cannot be reconciled together you can't say that someone is self-sufficient and then say that they are merciful without others being involved. Those two things contradict. And this is an inherent contradiction within Tawheed because the attributes of Allah are part Tawheed. of the understanding of Tawheed. Tawheed okay, the reason the why he's self-sufficient in terms of his mercy is because he doesn't need to rely on anyone to have the attribute of mercy in the first place. 
say that's why he's self-sufficient. Does that answer the question? It is, it is an argument, but no, I don't believe it does. Because right. if you, the only way that you could win this argument is if you can give me an example of mercy that is not a transaction. If you can, you win the argument, logically. But if you can't, I win the argument, logically. No, the reason why I wouldn't be able to win the argument is because of this example in a situation that you're in. Can you not be merciful to yourself? So the transaction is... So are you saying that Allah is merciful for himself? The adjective is that Allah is merciful. Are you saying Allah is merciful for himself? He can show mercy because he is merciful. Are you saying... Ashim, do you agree that Allah is merciful for himself? No, when you, when you talk about... I want you to address this point. I mean, let's have one more. Is Allah merciful for himself? When you talk about attribute, you say love is an attribute of, of God. What are the other attributes of, of God in Christianity? Because we got 99 attributes, you know the... What are the other attributes of, of a Christian God other than love? Are you saying that's the only attribute of God? God is spirit, God is truth, God is love. That's his essence, God is grace. No, 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 no. His spirit is Thank you, essence. thank you. It's a, oh, oh, thank you. So God is love. Wait, 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 one second. God is one, you're, one question. You're, you're, you're right to correct me. You're right. One question. The attributes of God in Christianity, please. So we got love. Love, spirit, Creator. truth. Creator. 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 Yeah. Okay. Was he the creator before he created anything? My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not. This is not one of your attributes. So give me an attribute other than love. Right? I've given you three. Deal okay. with those. You said spirit. You, spirit. When you say spirit, love, and God. When you say spirit, and truth, and truth, is and that God. His essence or is that his attribute? No, God, yes. God is love. So that is his essence. That now is. I understood. I'm talking about spirit. God, yes, God is love. His spirit is attribute. Spirit is yes. It is not. Yes, it is an attribute. Yes. How, yes. How, how will you show your spirituality from, from a God's perspective? What's sorry? I think God can show his love. How will you show his spirituality? How do we show the spirituality? Not you, God, God. How does he show his? How does God show his spirituality when there was only the Trinity at right. time? So when, when, when uh, there was just the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, was there love between the Father, Son and Holy Spirit? He dealt with love. I'm talking about spirit. Uh, I'm coming to that. Well, there must be love. Yeah. But were you they, have to say, show me from were, the Bible were they, where God, yes, the Father, love were, the Holy Spirit. They, so far you haven't shown, but carry on. Were they spiritual? Tell me, evidence. Show me the evidence from the Bible. Were they material? Show me from the Bible the evidence. Bro, he always were says that God's spirit. Were they material? Um, I don't know. You don't know? No, that's a lie. That's a lie, Hash. Right. So if you don't know, allow me to address that. Yeah, God. Because I'm talking about attributes, not I? essence of God. Yes. They're two different things, right? No, because if you look at the church fathers, the attributes are the energy of God as we experience them and we ascribe to them terminology. I don't think you, so you know what attributes are. No, Bob, take no, attributes no, are the no, things which no, define you do not, the characteristics you do not, of the energy. I'm sorry, you please stand back, just one step back, please. Well, neither Thanks, do you. Right. So when you say, that is when you say for me, it is an attribute, so that is you were defining for us. No, I didn't say okay. Yes, you did. No, no, I didn't say mention Tawid at all. I talked about the self-sufficiency of God. I talked about the mercy. I never mentioned how we knew. Okay, so go on, so, tell me it's spiritual. What, how, so, how do they show well, us spiritual? They, they were spiritual. They were not material. Okay, that's the essence. But anyway, carry on. What else? So, uh, and truth. Truth. Yes. So, how did they show that they were truth in time? Like, how did they show they were truth? They were always truthful to us. Oh, give me an example from the Bible. They, they were always truthful to us. Now, in terms of the... No, no, show me an example. So far, you haven't showed me the love between the Holy Spirit and the Father yeah. from the Bible. Yeah. You haven't showed me an example of that yeah. there. Okay, Sorry. maybe I'll do the Spirit. Wait, 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 wait. But I think that's still the essence of God. What they are made of. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. Yeah. Characteristic. Characteristic. Maybe you can't forget. Maybe you can't forget. For example, if I told you... You want to... You can't forget this. It has three sides. Okay, come on. There's three sides. Forget it. What it is made of is the voice. Yes. You need to understand the truth. Yeah. 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 So you got, you got love. She will, she will, she will. But that's why we make space. We got enough for the guys. Are you wanting to ask a question? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Let Ashim make his point. Yeah. Let me reply. Yeah. And then if we you want, you can ask a question. Sorry. Sorry. So, so Allah has 99 attributes and 99 names. Yeah. You have you and me three so far. Yes, bro. Even one of them is questionable. But anyway, there was no deception between them. Well, you haven't shown me evidence of the truth of the truth. How do you know? So the father, if he's truthful to the son, then he must have made a statement to the son when there was nothing else that he can show me from the Bible. But if you don't have it, then you're just speculating, Bob. I'm sorry to say so. No, I, th I, I, I actually think that, firstly, I will just point out that you have not demonstrated any Islamic definition of self Can you answer the question I'm asking you instead of going back to the question? Wait, hush, 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 hush,
That's what happens now. Right? Do you mind when you know if you want to interrupt? Do you interrupt when Lashley Interrupt first. Interrupt first. Interrupt. Yeah, but he's the host. Ah, it's Larry Manza. He's getting some more. So, 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 I said we can carry on. You have not. You have never not. You have not justified using Islamic sources your belief that that, that self-sufficiency is exclusory to the attribute of mercy, which is what you tried to argue. Oh, did I make that point? So, so Wait yes. Did I make the yes, point that being self-sufficient is exclusive to Islam? Do you mind if I can talk without you? Yeah, hi. Just right? our manners. Just our manners. Represent me. Is that all right? When you misrepresent, I'm being corrected. Is that all right if I talk without you interrupting? Yeah. As long as you don't misrepresent. And I speak without you interrupting. Muslim, if you don't Muslim, Muslim, is it okay Muslim, if you Muslim, stop Muslim, talking Muslim, so Muslim, I can Muslim, speak? Muslim, you don't misrepresent. What's happening here? Stop talking so I can talk. For the third time, if you don't misrepresent. Can I talk? You see, he's so childish. Hashim. Honestly, he's. Hashim. Hashim. I know your name is a cartoon character. He's in your hands. Have to be one. These are common in attacks. Yes. Detract from the argument that you're trying to make. That's his tactic. That's his tactic. Are you not? Is not going to. How can it be ad hominem when you yourself said you're Hashim, naming yourself you're as the You're interrupting me again. Yeah. Can you? And I have never called myself Bob the Builder. You never. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Everyone else you calls you me. Have. Else. He has. Someone else. I'm sure he's on video. It is. It is. I know he has. I saw him. I feel like that. He don't remember. I'm sure he did it on a clip so I can see it. He said it himself. Why don't you tell Soko to stick it on the clip? He's on both the videos. Can I talk without you? Soko, can you find him the clip? I think it's one of the first, yeah. one of the first discussions. One well, of the first discussions with Mansour. Somebody else called him Bob the Builder. And he said, yeah, that's my name. But it was the crowd that called him Bob, this video where he Bob the Builder. Oh, so he and did, I got it. So he did say, yeah, that's my name. Yeah, somebody called him Bob point. the Builder. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but he, 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 he didn't say. He said that Bob, 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 Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. So, Bob the Builder. Makes you look like you're a winning man. pointless points, mate. Yeah. What do you think? These are pointless points. Yeah. You're trying to use mockery to escape from the actual debate that we're talking about. Yeah. And all it does is make you look Not less intelligent you than you are. I will respect so you, Hajj. mockery, but the important thing is this. You He's interrupting again. Yeah. You're interrupting but again. Move on, but can you stop interrupting? Yes, I will. Bro, oh, can you stop interrupting? I will take a Yeah. Okay, to look at me. Bro, Wait. Wait. It was really nice to speak to you. I would encourage you to go away and to study the Christian faith for what it says about itself, and not what other people say about it. She's got kids, kids man. Please, bro. She's got kids, man. She's got kids, man. She's got kids, man. She's got one question. Yeah, God is described as spirit in the scripture. So how does he act? I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. The spirit is not work. The, 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 the spirit is a state of existence, is it? It's not a word. It's a word. I said love is a word. Love is a word. So you cannot express your spirit? Wait, it's spirit. No, it is a state of existence. Okay, but you know, um, mercy, you said that it comes from basically love. It is always transactional. Yeah, but wouldn't you also agree that it actually comes from an original, original attribute? Similarly, I never said that. It should, what do you mean? You said that it comes from love. Love is an attribute. Oh, my apologies. Yes, sorry, yeah. I did say that. So why can't it be the same for mercy? Why can't Which mercy, is the same question now? Why can't mercy Which just be an answer? attribute similar to how love is an attribute? Because if you are saying that the problem is not with the mercy or with the transaction of mercy, yeah. the problem is the fact that another attribute of Allah says that Allah is self-sufficient. Yeah. And self-sufficiency means that you're not dependent on others, but mercy is always a transaction between two parties. That's right. My problem is not with the attribute of mercy. My problem is with the attribute of self-sufficiency being described to the one person of Allah. Ah, okay. Go on, sister. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have two questions. The first one is that you, you spoke about lying. Or discussed about lying earlier. Lying? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what, didn't Judas lie to Jesus? Um, did Judas lie to Jesus? Yeah, by tricking him and betraying him. And so. Yeah, there was a deception. Right, so that was lying in the Bible, right? Yeah. Right, and when you come to self-sufficiency of God, is your God not self-sufficient? Does he need to eat and drink? 
Okay, so to answer your question, I've already, I've, Hashim's actually asked a very similar question. So I'll just repeat the answer. We believe that the divine Logos, the second person of the Trinity, entered into humanity and as a human took on the full contingencies of humanity, which includes being dependent on others. So when, when the divine Logos was the called his son, so when he wasn't created, he was there from the beginning. He, was, he, 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 he is eternally God, he's not created because God is not created. Oh, so, like our God. So, yes. So, in terms of, in terms of the deep... But don't you call Jesus, sorry, but don't you call Jesus the Son of God? Can I address your first question and then in the second question? So, the first question that, that you asked was, look, does he become contingent on others? And I'm saying, yes, absolutely. In his humanity, he becomes contingent on others because he takes on, this is the Logos, yes, becomes, the, that's what I've said and everyone heard me say, which is exactly what I've been saying all along. In his humanity. Hashim loves to do this. He likes to present something that Christians believe as if he's making a point. That's what he does all the time. He says what Christians believe and presents it as if he's made some profound point. But the reality is he isn't. He's just stating what we believe. And I'm saying I believe it. That's not a winning argument, Hashim. You asked the question about do we call him the Son of God? Yes, absolutely. And the reason why we call him the Son of God is because he calls himself the Son of God. He does it in John chapter 10 and he does it in John 17. But he wrote the Bible. No, he didn't write the Bible. So God wrote the Bible. How did he call himself the Son of God in the Bible? He calls himself. He did not write it. He did not write it. And actually, the idea that there was some pre existent Injil that was Islamic in nature that has been lost is a complete Islamic myth. There's no evidence of this existing book anywhere in history, and you can provide none. And if you can, I would ask you to bring it forward. I actually when, can, but... Okay, there is no evidence. We don't evidence. need it because of There is no <laughs> no, evidence. You heard of the There's no, no evidence. Have you heard of Gospel? Sorry, I'm going to stand this here. Let them talk. Yeah. There is no evidence at all that the Injil or Islamic Injil was ever written. Ever. 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 Which were the sources no. of the gospel. It is pure speculation on the part of Muslim polemicists like Hashim and this brother here. There's no evidence for it, and it actually contradicts all the evidence. He doesn't Jesus that. said the word now, of sister, my own. You ask, you ask, very clear in the Bible. you ask, you ask the question, did Jesus write the Bible? No, Jesus did not write the Bible, and Christians have never claimed that Jesus wrote the Bible. We say that the, so why does the apostolic community wrote the Bible. Sorry? How, how does he then you want to go there, Hash? Because, because what we have in the, the Gospels is a record of, of the life of Christ. These are biographies of Christ, Paul, oh, yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And so they are recording what he says about the Just like if I wrote yeah. a recording of you, it wouldn't be you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. If I wrote a recording of you, it wouldn't be you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it, hold it here. Just hold it. That's what the Gospels are. Hold it, hold it. Just hold it. 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 Please, please. Only can't you get it in the hole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes, no, but, but, but every God is merciful. Okay, wait. Every God is self sufficient. Right, so let me ask you this question that I've asked this brother, and he didn't answer it. Can you give me an example of mercy that's not a transaction between at least two parties? God forgive you without well, let me hold it, and then you can do okay. it. It's a there. transaction between no Allah. Transaction. It is because Allah is giving mercy to a sinner. No, no, no yes, it too is. much. No. That is a no transaction. Okay. okay, we're not asking for the mercy. So, if you are saying, let me give you an it. example. This is a very famous uh, story oh. about a prostitute yeah. who gave a dog water, and yes. she went to heaven. She didn't ask yes. God to You're wrong. Oh, Thank you, Lord. And the battery's there, yeah. She just felt mercy as a human It's like a Bible. In, in example that you've given, you have given an example of a transaction. A transaction between. No, because yes, you have. Wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. So you've given an example of a transaction between the woman and the dog. She has shown mercy to the dog but by giving water. Why are we on so that is a transaction. 
Now, if you truly believe God is self-sufficient, then that means those attributes that are transactional in nature cannot be his attributes, because Allah's attributes have to be something that are self-sufficient and not dependent on others. So there is an inherent and internal contradiction within the Islamic concept of God. Because he is now dependent. In the thing answer, is, what he doesn't understand by dependent is that dependent. I, I, I'm going to go Until then, don't tell me they love God, each other. God is love. And that love is pre-existent. God is God. Okay, you you said they love baby. each other. Show me you the evidence. That, 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 that is the reason I said you run away from Thank the question. Sir. And then you don't say it. And you have also confirmed the second person of Trinity is dependent. Is you said it very clearly. The second person of Trinity humanity is dependent on We're still the same person. Bob, 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 we're still the same person, right? The, the, the it's not two persons. It's not two persons. You're confusing person and nature. No, I'm saying person. You're confusing no, I'm using person the word person. Yeah. person. Does or that, did one person... Does one person have two natures or one? One person has two natures. Thank you very much. Okay. Is that one person Thank dependent? You. Thank you. Is that Thank one you. person Thank dependent? Thank you, Ash. That one person... Yes, is it dependent? ...in his humanity is dependent on other human beings. I don't know how many times I can <laughs> say the same thing to you, yeah, and I don't know how much clearer I can be to you. When you say in his humanity, we know you have to deal with what I'm saying. Bob, when you say in his humanity, wait a minute. I did. When you say in his humanity, when you say in humanity, so when you say in his humanity, so we'll ask questions. Yeah. Question. In his humanity yes. and divinity, yes. these were the two natures of Jesus Christ. Yes. Is that right? These were the two natures. How many persons are we talking about? One person. One person. Yes. So is this one person dependent? Okay. So allow me to answer this question. Allow me to answer this question. Ah, Bob. Because Hashim has this really rhetorical style that he believes as if he's discovered something amazing. <laughs> he presents it as if he's got some winning argument by saying <laughs> to Christians what Christians like believe. It. Now, oh, yes. the one person of Christ in his humanity was dependent upon other human beings. I do not know how much clearer in human language in English I can say it to you. He, he, he understands, he understands. That he understands. was your last question. Yes. I answered it. And the thing, Thank you. you agreed with Thank that, you, you're right, Bob. You agreed with me no, that you stated what I believe no, already, no, no. as if you were making <laughs> You agreed that this is the one ah, person which is dependent. Whether you, you say in his humanity you or in his divinity, it's still the same person. You do the very same person anything. is dependent. So the second you person of the Trinity anything. is the one that died. The second person does not prove anything. No, 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 What Christians already believe in. Thank you, Bob. Hush. Thank you for it. We love you, Hash. The second person of Trinity is the one that died. He's the one that was dependent. And the this is the right racist. <laughs> Why is he talking about being triggered? Oh, talking about being triggered. Walk in the street. You want to talk with me? Walk in the street. Go, go, go. Manners mean that when two people are speaking, you don't inform us yourself into the conversation. That's the fact. Yes. Yes. Excuse you from common decency. If people have a discussion, why are we pretending? Let me ask you this question. Listen, I ask you, would you want me to interrupt you? You spoke to me. Would you want me to interrupt you? I asked the brother kindly. Can you? And I speak. The brother said yes. He said he's not respecting common decency. This is what you're doing. This is what you're doing.